Now, the Labour leader, Sir Keir Starmer, has been out and about in Middlesbrough this morning. Uh, lots on the political agenda. Let's hear what he's had to say. There are obviously a lot of unanswered questions in relation to these allegations. Not least why it seems the Conservative Party took so long to act and whether they've reported this to the police, who it seems to me should be involved in this. Um, but I'll be honest, there's a degree of frustration as well. We're two weeks away from really important local and mayoral elections when, you know, there's a lot of positive arguments that we want to make about the change we can bring about in these elections. And yet again, uh, we're talking about misbehaviour by Tory MPs. And if ever you needed evidence of why we need to turn the page on this shower and, and have a fresh start with Labour, I think it's in these allegations that are coming out today. A question about one of your own colleagues, though, uh, Angela Rayner. It, suggestions that the police are now investigating multiple potential offences. Do you still have complete faith in her? Angela's answered no end of questions uh, on this. She said she's happy to answer any further questions. I have complete confidence uh, in her. And the police investigation, I think, um, uh, allows a line to be drawn um, in relation to this. And Angela Rayner will be out with us campaigning because we have really important local elections, mayoral elections, where we've got a positive case to take to the country on antisocial behaviour, on housing, about the health service, which I know matter to the very, very many people who are going to be voting in two weeks' time. Uh, on to Rwanda now. Uh, Labour Lords delaying, uh, helping to delay the, the bill last night. Does this show Labour isn't really taking reducing immigration seriously? It is absolutely important that we stop the small boats coming across the channel. That has got to be done. And that's why I've always said we've got to take down the criminal gangs that are running those boats in the first place. And I'm determined that we will smash those gangs. What will not help is the Rwanda gimmick, which has cost an absolute fortune um, to remove a fraction of the people, two million pounds per person. That money could be used to smash the gangs and stop this vile trade in the first place. So I would roll up my sleeves and tackle this in an effective way, not a gimmick.